What is going on guys? It's Edward with Crypto University and I got a special video for you today. We're going to be creating a futures scalper bot, right? So you can use this scalper setup for more than just futures. However, I advise for you to use it on futures for it to be most profitable. If you're trading this on spot, there's going to be a lot of room for slippage and you're not going to get the desired results that you may want. So in order to get the most out of this strategy, just go ahead and use it on futures and adhere to the anti-liquidation rules. If you haven't checked those out, we're going to briefly review them within this video as well. So just to get this set up as quick as possible as to not take up too much time, we're going to go to our futures account and we're going to select a pair just for example purposes. Let's just pick Dogecoin. We're going to pick Doge USDT. So if you'll scroll down, you'll have your main settings. And we have a lot of videos talking about how to configure the settings. So let's just name this Doge Longbot. Now you'll come down here and set a base order size and safety order size. For the base order size, let's go ahead and set 10. Now for the safety order size, this is going to need to be multiplied by the same factor that you have enabled here on your safety order volume scale. So I'm going to jump ahead a little bit. We're going to want this to at least 1.1. And the higher you can put this, the better, because we want this scalper bot to close as fast as possible. So if you can go 1.15, that's great. You can go 1.2, that's awesome. You can go 2.0, it's even better. Now, just to get kick started with this video, let's go ahead and put it at 1.15. What this is going to do is it's going to affect the table at which your bot closes deals. So if you have it set to 1.15 here, you can see at a 5% deviation, it would take 3.25% to escape. If you had this set to 1%, at a 5% deviation, it would take 3.62. And if you had this set to 2%, and if you had this set to 2, then at a 5% deviation, it would take 2% to escape. Okay, so now that you have that in your head, let's go ahead and put it to 1.15, and we'll come back up. So 10 times 1.15. 11.5 so now each safety order step is going to be multiplied by 1.15 so let's go ahead and set this to market whenever we're using futures bots we want our deals to be executed right then and there so we're going to put market now you can choose to use cross or isolated if you have isolated only the amount of margin that you give to this trade will keep it alive meaning you can get liquid data a little bit easier and if you use cross and stick to the rules then you won't experience any liquidation so Let's talk about the rules very briefly. If you're using 10x leverage, then your percent of available balance to be used by the bot should not exceed 10%. So with the current guidelines that we have right now, we would not experience any liquidation because this would be under 10%. We could actually move this all the way up to 50x and see that we are within 2%. So in order to avoid liquidation at 50x, this has to be below 2%. At 20x, this has to be below 5%. At 10x, this has to be below 10%. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put that up to 50x moving forward. Our target profit is going to be very small, very minuscule. It's going to be 0.05%, right? This is going to be from total volume. So this is a scalper bot. You're not going to be making a lot of profits off of it. But the goal of this bot is to take profits away from the table as quickly as possible. If you want to turn trailing on, I would advise that you put it 0.001. I have this bot running can the exact same configuration with trailing deviation of 0.01. It works amazingly. Now, the only problem you might have when running trailing is that the price of the asset may move too quickly in order for trailing take profit to actually take profit. So you'll have to watch this futures bot and make sure that it's behaving as it should. So that way you don't encounter that error. Now for the safety orders, usually for my strategy here on futures bots, I'll put to 10. And the max active safety trades count, I'll have to 2. Because I want to have at least one extra order on the order book, but I don't want them all on the order book. So that way I still have room for margin to use in my other trades if I'm going to be trading alongside this bot. Now for you, I suggest you just let the bot do its job and don't interfere with it and don't cross the margin until you understand well enough what you are doing. So the price deviation I have here to open is going to be at 0.45%. So that means that every time the price falls 0.45%, we're going to open another safety trade. 
Now here we run into the safety order volume scale, which is why I had to jump ahead so you can make sense compared to the base order from the safety order. And now on the safety order step scale, we're going to put this at 1.35%. So at 10 safety trades at 0.45 deviation, putting a safety order step scale of 1.35% between each one, that means our deviation is going to extend to 24.56%. So on this scalper bot now, we should be able to cover a 24% fallout. However, we're going to need 17% recovery to escape. This is where if you can afford to move your bot up some here, I would advise it. So right here, percent of available balance to be used by the bot is at 0.64. We can keep this under 2% at 50x. So let's see how high we can go. Okay, so we can get it to 1.38, which is awesome. So that means if the price of our asset falls 24%, it'll only have to rebound 12% for us to escape with profits. And as you can see, in the earlier stages, it's extremely easy to escape with profits all the way up until 4.4%. It only has to move 2% for you to make a profit. And you can actually get into the third safety order without ever having to see 1% change. So this configuration is highly profitable for futures bots. Now, if you're running futures bots, you're definitely going to want to put a couple indicators here. I'll run the 5 minute, 1 minute, and 15 minutes. That way I can set these up for scalping buy signals and my cooldown between deals usually be about 2 seconds. So this is how you can create a winning futures bot strategy. Uh, pretty much stick to everything that you see here. Now, if you're going to be using this safety order volume scale at 1.38, you have to take into consideration that this needs to be multiplied as well. So let's backtrack it just a little bit and make it 1.3. That way I can multiply 10 by 1.3. Basically, you'll want to make sure that it's on track with your balance. So we'll get 13. We'll put that right in here and we can stay well within our guidelines still. So we can actually adjust this to 1.35 and that would be so 10 times 1.35 would be 13.5 and we'll still stay within our 2% ratio at 50x. So this would be a safe bot to create and run by these guidelines. So just go ahead and press create the bot. And if you have no other futures bots running, go ahead and press start. I have other futures bots running on this account, so I'm not going to start it right now. But that is how you can create your configurations. And just to show you that I am running these similar configurations here, I've got two futures bots running with very similar. We got safety step scale. 1.35 and my order step at 1.11 here again 1.11 and 1.35 so as long as your order step scale is above 1.1 you should be in pretty good standing to have a scalpers futures bot so make sure you listen to the anti-liquidation guidelines and now you have a profitable futures bot thanks for watching